Five Reasons Why God Is Going To Bless You This Year God is a good God. Our God is a good God. I believe that the devil has done a fantastically good negative PR job on God. He paints a picture as if God is some evil cosmic president, and a lot of believers, and even unbelievers, have a negative perception of God. But today, I just want to simply remind you that God is a good God. Others may not know what this year holds for them, but you know who holds this year. The God that loves you already knows what you will need this year. He already knows what challenges you will face this year. He already knows what obstacles you will need to overcome this year. Therefore, there is no need for you to worry. It's okay for you not to know how this year will pan out, but you can trust in the God you serve. So today, I am going to tell you five reasons why God is going to bless you this year. Number one, you are his child. 1 John 3 verse 1 Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed on us, that we should be called the sons of God. If you are a child of God, then you should expect his blessings this year. Every child is entitled to the care of his or her parents. We are the children of God. Therefore, we have a covenant right to his care. God is not an absent father. He is a God that cares. He cares about you more than you will ever know, more than you will ever understand. God cares about you. The very hairs on your head are numbered, not counted, but numbered. That is the level of detail and interest God has in you. Just think about that for a moment. Every hair on your head has a number. Too often people associate the blessings of the Lord with money. Yes, God can bless you with money. But there are different ways God can bless you. Do you know something that we take for granted, like sleep, is a blessing from the Lord? Psalm 127 verse 2 it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. There are people right now with billions in their bank account, but yet they struggle to sleep at night. But you can. Salvation is a blessing from the Lord. There are people right now who are scared to death because they don't know what awaits them on the other side of life. But you do. You have an assurance that your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is preparing a place for you. Your heart is not troubled like unbelievers. Unbelievers have no hope outside of this life. All the joy and happiness they will experience will end with this life. But you know that because of salvation, the closest thing to hell you will ever experience is the struggles of this life. Because in heaven, there is nothing but joy, nothing but peace, nothing but happiness, nothing but health, nothing but health. Allow me to say it one more time. In heaven, there is nothing but health. No doctors are allowed in heaven. I don't mean in the sense if you are a doctor, you are not allowed in heaven but I mean because you and everyone will always be in perfect health. There will be no need for doctors. Praise God for salvation. Joy is a blessing from the Lord. The greatest act of love that God showed towards us is to save us from our sin and make us his children by adoption through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Now, we are qualified to be heirs of God. This privilege does not begin when we get to heaven. Rather, we begin to enjoy from here till eternity calls us. The second reason why God is going to bless you is because he loves and gives good gifts to his children. Matthew 7 verse 11 If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, 
Give good things to them that ask him. More than you have ever known, this is a year to acknowledge and walk in the love of God. God loves you. He loves you so much. Live in it. Grow in it. Build your future on this fact that God loves you. Don't be scared of God. There is a big difference between the fear of the Lord and being scared of God. Our God is a loving Father. If you have ever had a good relationship with your Father, you know the love of a Father for His children. I know my relationship with my dad has always been a great one, but I know that not everyone has had the privilege of having a loving Father. But if you have had a really good Father, you know that if there is one person that will never turn the back on you, it is your dad. I mean, I know the whole world can hate me, but one person who will go to the ends of the earths for me is my dad. And my father's love for me cannot compare to the love God has for me. He delights in the prosperity of his people. Jesus said that if earthly parents, as evil as they are, know how to gift good gifts to their children, much more will God do for us. Love is not just an attribute of God. God is love. Meanwhile, love gives more than it takes. If God could offer his only begotten Son for us, then it is a light thing for him to equally bless you this year. God will bless you this year. Reason number three is, he knows you. 2 Timothy 2 verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. God knows you. He recognizes you amidst great multitudes. He knows your name. He knows your past. He knows your secrets. The secrets no one else knows about you, he knows. He knows your family. He knows your children. He knows your concerns. He knows your desires, your aspirations, your dreams. He knows your heart breaks and pains. He knows your strengths and weaknesses. He knows how much you love him and how much you are committed to his work. God knows those that truly believe in him. He sees our hearts. People may despise you, but if truly you belong to God, your blessings will not be shortchanged. No one else knows how much you love God. He alone is the true judge. He knows what you are passing through, and he knows your needs. And the fact that he knows you, I want that to be a reminder for you that God has not forgotten. He is coming through for you this year. Psalms 30 verse 5 says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God is coming in a big way for you this year. God is going to reward your labor of love and your diligence in serving him. If you want to be blessed this year, you have to depart from iniquity because God sees you in the secret. The fourth reason is our God is good. I think because we attempt to avoid the prosperity doctrine so much, we act as if God only gives negative things. But I want to remind you that God opens doors. God gives great and wonderful gifts. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't allow people to paint God as evil to you. He is a good God who gives good gifts. The thoughts of God for you are of good and not of evil. God does not think of evil concerning his people. You don't need to worry about whether God will bless you or not. It is his will that all his children should be blessed and enjoy peace. The problem is that people try and equate God's blessings to money, but God's blessings surpasses money alone. He is good, and his mercy endures forever. In Psalms 23, verse 6,
David affirmed that God's goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life. 2022 is part of the days of your life, and you are going to experience the goodness and blessings of God in it. All the plans of God for you are good. It is only sin that causes humanity to suffer. As you walk with God in righteousness this year, you are going to experience another year of His goodness. And finally, God has a track record of blessing His people. Another reason we are assured of God's blessing is that He has a track record of blessing His people. No one ever regretted walking with God. Romans 15 verse 4 For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. The Bible records the stories of several people who walked with God and the glorious end they had. God has always been good and merciful to those who follow after Him. You won't be an exception if you follow Him too. You can be part of the people who have the track record of God's goodness and faithfulness this year. If God blessed others, He will bless you too. The faithfulness of God over the years guarantees that we can trust Him over this year. The God who blessed Abraham is the same God today. God wasn't more powerful yesterday than He is today. His resources cannot be exhausted. Look at your own life. God has blessed you in the past. There is no reason why He can't bless you this year.